So in the last video we looked at majority influence and defining a group. This time we're going to look at minority influence and how a small section of a group can actually impact the whole group and change a group norm. Minority influence is something that was noticed by Moscovici in 1969 and he was looking at the fact that well, actually, this minority can change the majority, but there has to be some form of mechanism for that to work. In 1980, Moscovici and Persnaz conducted a study called the Chromatic After Image Effect. Uh, and in this study, what they did was they showed participants a full block colour screen. Then they took the screen away and returned it to white and asked the participants one question. What colour did you see? What was that after image uh, that you saw? Now, unless you're an art student or a psychology student, you won't be aware that the colour that you see is the complementary colour. The opposite colour on the colour wheel is what would happen when you take away one block colour, return it to white, you see the after image of its complementary colour. So if you showed blue, you would see something along the lines of an orange yellow. In this condition, in this experiment, they put a minority influencer within that group who gave the wrong answer. And they were looking to see, did that change the participants' perception of what they saw or what they said they saw? Often, it did happen that somebody was influenced by this minority, even though the minority person was actually giving a slightly incorrect answer. Using a quote from Moscovici when he was writing about this in 1991, he said that a deviant minority answer can encourage at least some of the majority to look more closely at their own reflections in order to see whether the deviant responses might contain a grain of truth. And that's what minority influence is really doing. It's pushing a majority to say, wait a minute, there might be something in that. I just need a moment to consider. So the size of this minority influence effect is smaller than the majority influence noticed by Ash, for example, in his Lines paradigm. But it's still a thing, it's still a notable thing, and this is how change happens. So what are those elements that make a minority more influential? Consistency in expressing its opinion is definitely a key area, and if a minority is consistent in its opinion, it is more likely to be convincing of that opinion. You don't want somebody who, who floats a little bit this way and then floats a little bit this way and a little bit this way. That's, that's not convincing to anybody. The second is flexibility, agreeableness. If you're a nice person, you're more likely to be convincing to people. If you treat them well, they won't have any idea that you wouldn't want to mean well in all of what you say and do. So if you were to say, as a minority influencer, listen, I, I, I hear what you're saying and I can see why you think that. I actually think it's slightly different because of this and that. And you keep it really nice, you're actually more likely to be influencing those people rather than attacking. That immediately puts up defences, it puts up, oh gosh, no, I don't like that person. What an arsehole. The final one is commitment over time. A minority is likely to be more influential if they maintain their message over a period of time. Because a majority opinion doesn't change quickly. People are quite conservative in nature. And so if a minority takes its time and holds true to that message over the time, it gives a majority the time to reflect and time to accommodate their views to those of the minority. And that put together are the three ingredients for actualizing change from a minority standpoint. If this video was helpful, if you found it interesting, uh, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe to the channel because there's plenty more coming and I hope it'll be really useful for you in your upcoming exams, studies, or just general interest in psychology. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.